Right, hi. You've been quite involved in these uh, pin pillow things that have been going on. Um, I, uh, I've stitched on these on camera and the other day, earlier this week, I had a post about how they were coming together and how they were nearly finished and just mentioning the few things I had to do still before it, they were done. So I just thought I might put a couple of beads on here on camera. Um, I always try and put my beads on this little mirror because it's um, oh, can't open it. Um, it helps me to see them easier. They just look nice on glass anyway. So I'm going to put these on the French knot stripped areas. I've got two French knot rows. So I won't do them all, obviously, I'll just do a couple. Um, but I think, to me, it's like, I've got to come in a little bit because I've got to make allowances for a scene. Um, it's like a little bed. The French knots are like a little bed to me. And these sit really beautifully on them. Um, it enhances them, kind of makes them more prominent. So that's my first one. And I really love these little beads. Because um, they do catch the light. I know that on my own pin pillow, when I'm using it, if I go to get hold of it, I've got these on there. And they really like give a little sparkle. Just, I'm going to say that they're little glass beads, but whether they're actually glass or not, Probably not, they're probably plastic, but they're mimicking glass beads. Um, I mean, it's not really a very long job, and it's a very, very lovely job. It's like the final icing on the cake, I think. So, I'll do this one, I'll make this my last one, because I don't want to uh, over-egg the cake so to speak and then so I'll need to do them all the way down here and then all the way down the other the other run of French knots but I'm going to put that one away so I don't lose it I don't want to put four on at the moment because I've got a thing about even numbers I'm not a big fan of even numbers don't ask me why because I don't know but anyway, so I've got three on there so hopefully you can see them catching the light. They really do look lovely. Um, and what I will do is try and finish this tonight. This run. The weather's beautiful now. Um, to get a good picture of them. Um, if we're going to put this video on the blog. But there they are. Just those three little beads. Okay, just to keep you in touch with what's happening with these, next time you see them, they will most likely be finished um, and they'll have the spaghetti edge going on, etc. But I'm not going to do that with you because that's something that I'm doing in class. But I just don't ever want you to think that I'm neglecting them. So there they are again. Okay. 